we're here in Lafayette, Indiana. Uh, the rain has subsided. Uh, we did a reset and um, we're just putting in our release mechanism for the drop down ladder that Andre's installing. Uh, we really didn't miss a beat today with the weather because of our setup. Uh, we have our trailer and our tent set up. It's like a uh, 100 square foot shop. This uh, release pin is a little bit different than uh, our normal ones. Andre, if you could step to the side and explain your release pin there. I've got you zoomed in and how this is different than the rest. The, the ladder uh, was a little short on this application. Um, generally you want to have your bracket 18 inches or higher up and the release pin is just drilled in and installed into the bracket yeah, holding the ladder. This bracket usually stays exactly 3 feet from the platform. Right now it's 1 foot from the platform because of the height issue. I have to put it very low. And this, and this bracket doubles as the locking mechanism, you know what I mean? Once which is, the, which is similar to this bracket here. You drill the pin through here. Because I have to install this ladder too short, uh, this bracket too low, I have to, I have to create this, uh, I have to drill in this extra extension here. And then uh, make my own locking mechanism up here, the old style, which is basically like a huge channel. So when the ladder comes up, the other side will meet that and be a little bit taller and um, his lock mechanism will be in there. He'd pull the pin and push the ladder outward and let it fall down in which we are going to build a um, slam pad here and he put a foot on there. We'll put a dig a sauna tube, fill it with concrete and install these clips pieces of angle, we'll put them together in a manner like that and set them right in the top of the cement on the sauna tube so when the ladder comes down this will work as a slam pad um, so the concrete footing landing pad doesn't get all broken up. This is to protect the footing. 